Welcome! In today's video I will show you how you can start mining Raptor Evo. Raptor Evo can be mined with CPU and GPU. It was only CPU mining coin but Wildrick Multi Miner added this algorithm Ghost Rider in their miner and now you can mine Raptor Evo with graphic cards. Today I will show you how you can start mining with your CPU and with your GPU graphic card. First, we need to find mining address for Raptor Evo. You can get mining address from exchanges. Exchanges for uh, Raptor Evo you can find in this link here on their site. So exchanges you can get from Tradeover, from Coinex and some other exchanges. But if you don't want to mine on the exchange, you can download their official wallet and you can get address from the official wallet. For this video, I will download official wallet and I will show you how to get address from this wallet. On the GitHub page, scroll down and you will find couple of links. I am using Windows, so I will download this Raptoreum Core 1.3.17 Win64 Setup Exe. Click on this and download which will start. After the download is finished, click on the file you just downloaded and it will start installation for Raptoreum Core. Click on this next button and click next and install. After the installation is done, click on next. Check this box Run Raptoreum Core and click finish. Now the Raptoreum wallet will be started. On the first screen click OK and now you have options for Raptoreum wallet. You have light or dark theme, I will choose dark theme and click on this save button. Now the wallet will start syncing with the network but you can hide this and you will see that this is the wallet for Raptor Evo. In the receive section click on request payment and you will get your Raptorium address. Copy this address in the text file and save it for later use in mining software. Now you can click on close, you can leave wallet to sync with the network or you can do this later. After we found our wallet address, now we need to find where we can mine this Raptorium coin. On the mining pool stats.stream, in search box type Raptorium and click on this icon. It will open all the pools for Raptorium. You can see that Flock pool uses more than 50%. It has more than 50% of the hash rate network. I will try mining on woolypooly.com. Click on the pool, it will open main page of Woolypooly. Scroll down and you will find Ratama or Raptoreum pool on Woolypooly. Click on this and it will open Raptoreum pool. For mining with CPU, I will use XM rig and we can set up XM rig if we click on this connection button, it will open configuration setup for Wulipuli. In the first field, select your region. In the second field, select your miner. As you can see, the only miner Wulipuli offers is XM rig. Click on this. Now, in the third field, you need to enter your mining address. And lastly, you need to enter your worker name. As you can see, our batch file is already prepared and 
we can copy this, make new batch file or we can download prepared file for mining with XMRIG. I will download this first and now I will download from this link here, I will download XMRIG. Just click on this link and it will open GitHub page for XMRIG. Scroll down and in the section Assets you can download XMRIG. I am on Windows so I will download the Windows file. The Windows file is this file here. Click on this and Miner will be downloaded. Open your Downloads folder, extract the Miner, open Miner folder and this file you've just downloaded from Wulipuli, copy and paste in this folder of the XMRIG. Now we have our prepared batch file and Miner downloaded and now we can try to start mining Raptoreum on Wooly Pooly Pool. Double click on this file and Miner will start mining. You can see that I already get accepted shares and I am getting this speed for my processor. So now we can check our progress on the pool. Copy your mining address. Go to Wooly Pooly and where it says wallet address or email paste your wallet address and click on the search button. You can see that my worker is registered on the pool and I am successfully hashing on the pool. For better results you need to leave miner about 15 minutes, 30 minutes or 1 hour to get the right speed of the miner and to see some coins in your balance. Now we can try mining with GPU and Wildrig Multi. Wildrig Multi you can download from Google. Just type in the Google search Wildrig Multi, it will open the GitHub page, download from there and extract the miner. After you've extracted your miner Wildrig Multi, you can open the folder and you can search in this prepared batch files Start Raptoreo. Right click on this file and edit. This is the batch file for Raptoreo. You need to change the pool address and your mining address. So first go back to Wulipuli. Now you need to copy some of these Raptoreum addresses and replace in your batch file from Wildrig Multi. And Copy your mining address and replace with this address here. After mining address you can type dot and you can type your worker name. Now you can save this batch file, close and open your Waldrick multi folder and double click on this file start Raptoreo. Miner will start mining and as you can see already get accepted shares just to see our speed with my graphic card NVIDIA GeForce 1060 with 6 GB. After some time we can see that I have accepted shares on the pool and my speed is here. So we can check how am I doing on the pool. Paste your address in the search field. 
and click on the search button. You can see that my GPU miner is connected on the pool and I am mining Raptoreum on Wooly Pooly. Your mined coins for Raptoreum you can stake it and earn additional rewards for Raptoreum. You can do this on iNodes. On this site you can make account and your mined coins you can transfer here and stake and get additional rewards on Raptoreum. If you don't have account, just register account, it's very simple. After you register at your account, click on this login button and login to the iNodes. On the iNodes side, click on this button here and click on these addresses. It will say that this is locked address, so you can click here on email, it will send code and after they will send code, you can unlock this locket here and you can generate address where you can send your Raptoreum. After your coins are on iNodes, you can lock them and earn additional reward for your coins from staking. So you have two options to earn Raptoreum coins with mining and with staking. Some other info about Raptoreum you can find on their website or you can go to the Bitcoin talk and read about Raptoreum on the forum. Some other information, you can join their Discord group, you can join the Telegram group, you can go to Reddit and read some about Raptoreum on the Reddit site or you can follow them on the Twitter. On the coin market cap you can see the price of the Raptoreum and get some additional info and on what to mine you can calculate your mining profit and see how much your CPU or GPU is getting from mining Raptoreum. This was a guide about how you can start mining Raptoreum and staking Raptoreum. If you like this kind of videos, please go to my channel, see the other videos for other coins and subscribe and like my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.